So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Windows 7 and Windows Movie Maker Live to take video off your hard drive camera and convert into a format that uh, the Quick Scout software is compatible with. So let me just show you real quick first. I've got my camera already plugged into my computer. So if I go to my computer and I go to my camera, uh, most cameras are set up kind of the same. It's a little tricky to get to the videos, but most of them have this MP root folder. And then inside there, you'll have some kind of a folder also you can double click on. And you can see these are the four videos I took earlier um, out my front, basically of my front yard. But every time I hit the pause button, it created a new movie file. Just like when you're recording your game, if you're pushing pause between plays or at dead times, it will create a new video file for each one and it will give it a file name and you can see it just adds five, six, seven, eight. It just adds a new number as it goes through. But you can see by the date and time that these were all taken at the same time. All right, so that's what it looks like on your camera. Now, if I go into the Windows Movie Maker Live, which you can find by going to Start and Windows Live Movie Maker, it's going to ask me, it's going to give me a spot over here where I can drop videos. So let me go ahead and shorten this down a little bit, and I'll go ahead and pull that folder back up of my camera, uh, MP root, and this folder here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to grab those four videos. You can do it by dragging like I just did, or you can hit Control A on your keyboard, and it'll grab all four of them. And you can just drag them right over, and you can drop them right into Windows Live Movie Maker. And when you do that, as I hold the mouse over, you can see there's video five, there's six, there's seven, and there's eight. So it puts them in the proper order also. So if you had 60 plays there, it would put them in the proper order for your plays. Then I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to press this, this uh, menu choice right here, and I'm going to click Save Movie for Computer. And it's going to ask me for a location and a, uh, a type, and you can see it's Windows Media Video File, which is what we want. I'm just going to go ahead and type, you know, us versus them. You can type whatever you want there. Make sure that I'm on my desktop, which in this case is where I want to save to. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And now what it's going to do is it's going to go through and it's going to quickly uh, save that movie into one file as a WMV file on your computer that you can go ahead and load into the Quick Scout software. So we'll let it finish out here. And now it's done, so it's asking me if I want to play it or open the folder. I'm just going to go ahead and hit close. I'm going to close my movie maker, and I don't need to save my project. And if I close this folder also, you can see right here is the video that I just created. So if I open it up and play it, you can see the video now playing on my desktop. And with that video, you can actually go into the Quick Scout software and load that video in, and you can start editing your game or pulling clips into design, whatever you're going to go ahead and do with it. 